Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first episode of Chibo and Jobo's OnlyFans. Woohoo! Baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do that. So what we're gonna do right now is put together, put together this Brawless construction. The set of couch sofa thingy. What is this called exactly? It's just a sofa. All form. It's a sofa chase. Sofa chase. That uh, my boy Brendan, the sponsors wanted to give out a free sofa and he didn't need one, so he was like, "Do you want one?" I'm like, "Yeah, I just moved into a new place, so." We took it and we're gonna to try to put this together right now. I just got back from the studio as well. Just finished uploading episode 645 with Adam Ray. And uh <laughs> <laughs> Babe, don't. Oops. <laughs> Hi. She just lifted up her shirt. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna to try to put this together right now. Let's see how fast it takes, how long it takes. It should be easy. It says, well, it says that it's very simple, you don't even need tools and everything kind of comes together really fast. We shall see. I thought you're not supposed to plug the, like, what? surge protector into, like, a extension cord. I mean, you know, who cares? <laughs> Number two. We're about to start the unboxing of the all form sofa slash chase slash seating arrangement. See that? What? It's his chin. I got this from Sarah's wedding. How cool is that? So cool is that? Ladies and gents, the finished product. Ta da! Well, semi finished because this ottoman is missing a leg. Well, the whole sofa thing was missing a leg. So we chose this one to not have a leg out of any other legs that we put on the sofa. There's my old couch. All right, it's Monday. Brand new week. Heading off to the studio right now. There's the camera bag. There's my laptop bag. There's my lunch bag and some other stuff in there. See you at the studio. I'm trying to figure out this ISO setting on this camera because right now it looks a little too dark, but maybe I might change it in post. Anyways. I'm on my way to the studio right now, and over the weekend, I didn't do a vlog on this, but I filmed a little bit on my phone, camera on my phone, and I saw me and my girlfriend walked out to uh, Playa del Rey, the beach, and we actually saw some Corbina. We saw the biggest Corbina. It was probably like two and a half feet long. That area. Oh, I'm fishing. Oh, oh, there's a bunch! Holy shit! Oh my gosh! Is this crazy? Or does that cloud look like a fish? Face, fin, body, tail. My girlfriend figured that out. Okay, we saw like four, probably four, yeah, around four Corbina, and um, one was actually really big. So I'm wondering if any of you guys out there have fished for Corbina. Do you have any tips, any advice? Please let me know, especially for surf fishing. What up, Dan? I've arrived. That's Dan.
Morning. Okay, let's take out one of these. Put all this in the fridge. This unit right here, this Apogee Quartet, for some reason, it was damaged on the way to Mike Tyson's ranch. They tried to use it for one of the shows there. So we just brought it to Apogee and they just returned it. Kevin did the whole trip back and forth. So finally, my beloved Apogee Quartet is back. The audio will be a lot better now in this uh, below the belt room. The last three or four episodes were the system here, which is good, but I prefer my system better. Okay, the drive goes into here. I put Velcro here. It just makes things a lot easier. I don't have to worry about the drive slipping and sliding anywhere. You can't even see this, damn it. There. That whole time I was looking at my backpack is for this. It's just a quarter inch to 3.5 millimeter that I use for the backup and also for my headphones. Plug it into there. And that's the Zoom H6 that I use for a backup recorder. All right, we're all good to go now. Pro Tools set, levels are all set. That's my mic. We are just about ready to rock and roll. And here are the current events for now. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Actually, 29. And that's it. We're all ready to roll as soon as everyone gets here. Because as per usual, I'm usually the only one in here. No, just kidding. Isaac and Kevin are usually the first ones here. I'm the next one. And then Brenda comes in. Anyways, for today's show, there's nothing really coming up this weekend for fights, so all we have to talk about is the last weekend's fights. But to be honest, there's a lot to talk about with last weekend's fights because Dustin Poirier, Conor McGregor, Conor McGregor getting knocked out for the very first time and seeing his face like that was insane. And there's Kevy Kev. Hi. Let's go. Let's go. And Kev is installing uh, light a light tube that's probably going to cause noise in the cables. Nope. LED. Yeah, baby. All right, so we'll start the show pretty soon, and I will talk to you guys later. Kevin and Isaac are all just about ready, setting everything up. Hoot. Isaac's the one that told me to get an A7S III, because he got one, and I ordered one, and it's coming in today. Hey. Oh, yeah. But I'm going to use this in the meantime. Who are you connecting with, Kev? Hmm? Who are you connecting with? Alex. Who's Alex? The social media manager oh. for Blow the Bell. The girl, right? Hi, Alex. Oops. Fuck, fuck it, man. No, yeah, it's the same argument. Austin, Texas is just cheaper in general, but then you're talking about your outside Austin, man. Tony, you're like. What are you laughing at, bro? Like, what like, are you laughing yeah, at? Where it's like, one of more topics, you actually have. Oh, we're all done. Are we done? Yeah. Cool. Fan questions. Any fan questions? Lovely. Are you doing it? Uh, no. I don't know. I, mean, I think we just leave those to you now. You can pick them. Alright. I feel like I was picking out a lot that you were already picking out anyways. <laughs> that is true. So. That's Dan, by the way. Oh, I forgot your phone. Hmm? I forgot that the camera was in. <laughs> uh, I didn't realize you're recording me. I'm just over here doing like, <laughs> finger pistols. I'm just doing finger pistols over here. That's here. what I want. That's what I want. That's the content I need. Uh, should, I, should I change it up? Should I use the dice? <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. First question from Griff Schneider. Is Poirier the best boxer in the sport? Uh, best boxer? He said in the sport, not even in the division. Oh, in the sport? Yeah. No. No, not in the sport. Okay. He's a, he's a Hall of Famer, hands down. BTB is wrapped. Now to mix, edit, and master. There's Dan again. And then straight to Fighter in the Kid. Let's just turn this on right now. So 
So all I'm doing right now is mixing and mastering the Below the Belt that we just recorded. And then... You probably heard... Oh my god, not again. What do you want? I was wondering who you were talking to. Middle of my vlog? I was seeing who you were talking to, I'm sorry. Sam again. Troll feet. So I'll be mixing and mastering first, and then send that off to the Showtime Malka team with the screen record I did as well. And then I'm going to set up this room, do the title for Blow the Belt, episode 219, and then send that to the team as well. And then after that, I'll say that I'm following up with the description, which is going to take me a little bit longer. So that's what I'm doing right now. The new Brian stuff. Chappelle's here. Hey, Molly. I did the last two Good. two episodes. What's up? What's crack? Hi, cat. Hello. Whoa, that's a big ass lens. Yeah, what is, is this? Is this your new uh, behind the scenes camera? Yeah, man. Oh shit. But I have to use it for the studio too for now. Oh. Um, I did his last two shows, but then they have a full time producer now. Hey, they okay. it, was yeah. big, it was big. Got a whole clip like shit, quick, break. Oh my god. Really? Yeah. Bro. Why would Ooh. people even take the time to do that? I don't care. <laughs> bro. All right, the show's over. Finally finished. Mixing and mastering the audio for both shows, and I barely uploaded the Fighter and the Kids uh, audio right now. And I finished editing the video portion. But as you can see, it says right there, I don't think you can see it, but it says analyzing for dominant motion. Looking back at the video, I noticed that, that the wide shot every now and then would be moving like wobbly. And then I realized it's because the tripod right here for the wide camera was way too close to the desk. So whenever I moved the desk, it would wiggle the tripod, which would wiggle the camera. So now I'm doing a post image stabilization and final cut to fix the issue. The only problem with that is sometimes when you do stabilization in post, there's gonna be a bit of cropping. That means the picture is gonna be more zoomed in. So I don't know if it's gonna work. If it cuts off too much of the image, then I'll have to leave the original image. And it's not too bad, but hopefully this works. We shall see. And so I'm gonna do that, export it, and then Pack up all my stuff and then head out and upload it home. All right, I'm all set here. Are you back to vlogging? What's up? Are you back to vlogging? Yep, back to vlogging. So like today is your last day? Yeah, in the studio. I missed my last week working here. Yeah, yeah. Like I'd be working from home. Okay, well, Daniel, <laughs> this is gonna be hard. We're gonna miss you. So I'm fishing okay. sounds perfect. I'm actually trying to go fishing and camping at some point. Ugh. Keep me posted. Will do, my friend. All right, Dan, have a good one. Jim? Well, keep in contact. Oh, it's been a pleasure, my friend. My pleasure. Pleasure is mine. Bye, Jim. Peace, man. Peace out. Let me know if you need anything, Dan. to find out that you're actually all right time to head home and hopefully the stabilization thing will be done by then and start uploading all right see you there okay. two packages that's got to be the camera the interim title after he beat Max in the famous card in Atlanta. It does matter on some level to have that versus not. All right, we're back. We're back in my lovely little apartment. And I finally checked out the image stabilization on this episode. I mentioned earlier that um, there was some wobbling and uh, I was gonna image stabilize it, but then there was gonna be a little bit of cropping. So I looked at it and it's not that bad at all. You can see it gets kind of close here. <laughs> you see, that's pretty close. <laughs> that's not that bad. All right, that's exporting right now. Once that's done, it's going to be uploaded directly to our Fighter and the Kids YouTube channel. And also, check this out. I think I took you, I took you guys with me to the package room. That is the brand new Sony A7S III that I got. Why does it look so weird in color? As I was saying, I got a brand new Sony A7S III for myself. And let's open that sucker up right now. I don't have a dining table yet. So this is what I'm gonna use for now. Is 
it's not the best way to open a box. But there we have it. Sony A7S III, just the body. I have the lenses already. Let's just do it this way. I'll have a table soon. It's not showing my address. Pamphlets. Those. I'm not sure what this is. I don't need it. USB-C. I'll need it for later. Strap. Definitely don't use that. Here's what it's all about. This is the bad boy, or bad girl, or bad thing. And I thought this was weird too, so usually when you buy a camera, a brand new camera, the LCD screen, if it's a camera that has an LCD screen, the flip out one, it'll be flipped out to where the actual LCD is covered when you first get it from the camera box. These cameras, for some reason, they're not. They're actually out like that. You see, see the shininess, so that's the actual glass. That's already facing the outside, and there's no protective film over it either. So I remember the first one I got for the studios, I was like, oh crap, is this potentially a used one or whatever? No, they all come that way. So, interesting little tidbit there. You hear that? Someone's like running upstairs, I think. Regardless, I'm going to Ralph's right now to pick up some food and some water, some drinks, stuff like that. I probably won't take you with me because that's kind of lame, but maybe I will, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> Quick break, make sure to subscribe. I have a bunch more of these coming out. Uh, I made it a goal of mine to start making more content and I also bought brand new Sony A7S III. A very expensive camera. I'm gonna try to film every week and make more content, so Make sure to subscribe, I have more coming out. See you later. As you can see here, the episode is now 95% uploaded. Is this too bright? Let's see here. Possibly. All right, so as you can see now, the episode is now at 95% processed. That means it's fully uploaded and just processing right now. All right, what should I do next? Let me think about it. You got a fast car And I want a ticket to anywhere Maybe we can make a deal Maybe together we can get somewhere Many places better Started from zero, got nothing to lose Maybe we can make something But me and myself, I got nothing to prove